Too many people going to college in America. Uh, I do not. Okay. So what's the national college graduation rate? Ballpark. What do you um, think it is? How, what, what, uh, people going in to how many people graduate? Get a diploma. Again, I'm, I'm not too familiar with yeah. the amount. That's okay. That's, that's fine. Out. 59%. So 41% of people that go to college don't graduate. By a show of hands, how many know people that dropped out of college? Raise your hand. Every single hand goes up. Right. So we have way too many people going to college in America. So my first thing, my first belief is that we have to decline college enrollment dramatically in this country. I'd say, well, Charlie. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Did you guys we back on the new video? Today we're going to check out Charlie Kick talks ring around pro liberal college students. Okay, this is going to be amazing to watch. Let's go right to today's video. I just kind of wanted to come here to gain some perspective, but I am a disagreeer. Um, so seeing that we uh, talked about the housing market and we talked about, um, you know, the price of college, right, going skyrocket in America, if we look to our European neighbors, we're seeing them do a lot better in this sector, and that's because of centralized policies that America hasn't even started on yet, and yet you want like a free market kind of like solution. So how are, how are we failing, and how is Europe succeeding? Well, yeah, I don't accept the premise, but I appreciate the I don't think Europe's succeeding. But um, let me ask, I ask you a question. Do you think that there's too many people going to college in America? Uh, I do not. Okay. So what's the national college graduation rate? Ballpark. What do you think um, it is? How, what, what, uh, people going in to how many people graduate? Get a diploma. Again, I'm, I'm not too familiar with yeah. the amount. That's okay. That's, that's fine. Out. 59%. So 41% of people that go to college don't graduate. By a show of hands, how many know people that dropped out of college? Raise your hand. Every single hand goes up. Right. So we have way too many people going to college in America. So my first thing, my first belief is that we have to decline college enrollment dramatically in this country. I'd say, well, Charlie, what are you going to do? Well, I will agree with you on one thing. It's where the Germans get right. It's that we need more welders and plumbers, electricians, police officers, entrepreneurs, and people that work with their hands. Mm. And a lot less people that are kind of in the cloud studying postmodernism, right? So I think college is a racket, largely. I think it's a scam. I think that young people are told to take classes that have no relevancy to their own degree. So let me ask you, have you taken classes that just you think are kind of a waste of time, or do you think it's all just been phenomenally meaningful? I feel like it's a step in like a, the right career, right? You get the right amount of like technical skills and it's also the right amount of soft skills necessary for the you know career that you're going into. And I feel like saying that people shouldn't be enrolling in college is actively saying that some people just don't deserve to go to college. And no, I don't feel like saying that's the that case. at all. I mean, I think college makes you poorer, makes you less happy and less likely to flourish. So let me ask a question. Show of hands in the room. We'll use the democracy thing, right? How many of you have felt that you took a class that was a total waste of time, waste of money and all that? Okay. I mean, so this is a scam, man. Like if, if, I, was a, if I was a financial regulator, I would, uh, it's just like Bernie Madoff stuff, man. It's like every question I ask, yep, I know people that dropped out. Yep, I took classes that don't have any relevance to your degree. And so the question is, what is the purpose of college, right? So if every college is like Hillsdale College, I'd probably agree with you. If you guys were studying Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, getting deep into the classics, rejecting postmodernism, understanding the beauty of the American founding, then so be it. But like, if we have to have these like extended discussions of like Jacques Derrida and Michel Foucault and black-only dormitories and what is critical theory, you guys are getting ripped off. And it, it, I believe firmly that, so what is the market response first and foremost? Get a mass, and this might be wishful thinking, get a massive portion of the population not to go to college, go into technical schools, learn to work with their hands, and value muscular labor again in our country, which muscular labor is insulted, talked down to, and I could prove it to you. Um, go to a suburban family, anyone, maybe in Cherry Creek or in Centennial or whatever. If you go to a regular suburban family, if you get a mom in private, she'll say, I just don't want my kid to work construction. Every suburban mom will say that. No matter what, I don't want my kid to sweat for a living. And okay, that has created a hyper-educated, very unwise generation that's super in debt and has pieces of paper and they mean absolutely nothing. Right? So it's a generation that has borrowed money they don't have to study things that don't matter, to find jobs that don't exist. So to answer your question, the whole thing's a racket from how we get young people from high school to try to go to college and all this. We need to disrupt it completely, end federal subsidies, end state subsidies, make college support themselves on, the own, on their own, make, make, colleges, so make colleges go raise their own donor money. For, the, like, for example, if like feminist queer theory is super important to you, fine. Go raise the money and support it on your own, right? Don't ask the taxpayer to underwrite that. And by the way, you look at Europe, just to finish the point, 
they're, they're getting away from woke universities. France has actually decreed, Emmanuel Macron ran on this, he said that we need to try to reject American woke ideology that is seeping into French institutions. Hmm. So to kind of use your own example, Europe's rejecting the very same thing that I believe has infected American higher education. Thank you for being here tonight. I appreciate it. Thoughtful question. Thank you. Okay, when it, whenever it comes to those education of it, saying like, uh, I love such topic. The reason why is because, truth be told, when I was in college, there are some um, courses I took. I feel like, why why am I doing such? Some classes I went to, I was like, I shouldn't be doing this. This does not have any um, relationship with what I'm studying. You understand? Because I study nursing. Nothing, to be precise. So, um, but at the same time, if you think about it, the um, courses you take, um, they actually matters. I would say that they actually matters in the, in the terms of like, you you might not need them, but you you see relevance of them while you study them. You understand? Like, there are some courses like, let me see about maths, for instance now, or Christianity as a whole, um, about the religion of it. I, be good studying nursing. I have not to do with Christianity. I should not be studying the Christians, but though I'm a Christian, but they have a subject, a course about Christianity. I was like, this was a it was not actually needed in my nursing, also entrepreneurship, which was not actually needed in my nursing. But with time, I see the clarity in it where I was studying it. I was like, okay, this was, this the topic itself is meaningful. And uh, I can actually relate to people who believe very well. As a Christian, he also built up my faith as a Christian. And also the entrepreneurship aspect of it, there was a um, course about entrepreneurship. That course itself made me see um, business aspects in a different in a different manner and also um, helped me relate to people who are also like business-minded, uh, those entrepreneurs. So it's it's not needed basically as a nest for me, but it's it's meaningful, you understand? So I, I get where child is coming out from, but at the same time, we should not abolish education. Like education and schooling in university, I think that there's there's a difference in. Um going to college is different from education. Education, you can be educated by someone who is laying it. You can be educated. But going to college itself, it's it's beautiful. But I feel like if you yourself feel like you are wasting your time in college. You should drop off. You should not enter in the first place. If you feel like you should not go in the first place, you should not enter. You understand? But it's just from the pressure of parents. A lot of people who are in university right now, who are in college, if you ask them, why are you in college? They barely know why they're in college. Like a lot of people I've, I've seen, I have asked such questions before. They will tell us because their parents want them to study this, it's because their parents want them to study that. You understand? So, um, Education at the same time is not a waste of time, but I feel like if you know what you are going for, not you being pushed by people or your parents, you understand? You know what you are, what you try for. Like you want to be a doctor or a lawyer or a nurse or a nurse, <laughs> just go for it. You understand? It's not it's not a waste of time. When you have passion for something, you dedicate your entire time, your entire your entire life to it, you understand, to get to achieve that goal. But when you are being pushed by people, you don't want to make people feel you don't want them to be um to, if you don't want them not to be proud of you like your parents, so you just do it because of them. You tend not to like the thing as much as you would like love it if you were doing it for your own self. You understand? I know sometimes during the process of parents forcing to do some courses you barely love, or to become something you let me say a doctor, you don't want to be a doctor, but your parents are forcing you to become a doctor. With some, so within some period of time, you start having interest to be a doctor, and you start having that passion to become a doctor, you understand? Uh, it happens that way, but a lot of people don't don't pass through that phase of liking what they are studying, you understand? So it's, it's just go for what you want. It's as simple as that. If you, if you feel like um, your passions become something who, that can resonate to massive change in the society, you should give it a try. Well, I still don't accept Charlie's full point of view of um, college is a scam. No, I, I don't believe college is a scam. I believe college is a, is, is a beautiful institution who that does grow the future of tomorrow. You understand? 
though people tend to leave it because they are not finding what they truly have passion for that is true but at the same time it's it really helps a lot of people a lot of people me myself i don't want to go to college at first but i graduated <laughs> as a nurse today you understand it, that does not mean college just come at first i don't want to go to college but i feel like okay me studying which will have great impact in my life and it's it really did have great impact in my life my nursing degree uh, i'm not i have these certificates i have everything but i'm not practicing it right now but i have a certificate so <laughs> i'm not just practicing it but i'm going to practice it as the time goes on i have such interest in my house to do it uh, i think from this year and then I'm, I'm starting the processing to i'll start practicing it so that doesn't mean i it's not something that had massive impact in my life. It really have massive impact in my life, but I feel like I I, I needed more from my life than what nursing as he was giving me. I don't know how to describe that to people. I don't know if that's how other people see things to be. I needed more from my life than the course I'm studying can give me. But the course I'm studying is a really, really good course and I'm very happy doing it. I am happy to help people, to treat people, and see people recover from their illness and and diseases. It gives me a lot of joy. So bandaging people who are in emergency, that are wounded, it gives me a lot of joy. I feel like whenever I see that smile, it lightens my, lightens my mood. But at the same time, <sighs> I still go for the hustle. <laughs> The general hustle to grind more. You see, I open a YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is not about um healthcare as a whole, it's just about um the right wings and about politics as a whole. But what I have passion for more is about what I'm doing right now. You understand? I have passion for what I'm doing right now, my YouTube channel than the nursing as a whole. But I love my nursing career. I love it. Don't get me wrong. So I see where that student is coming from, I see where child is coming from, but college is absolutely not a scam. It's not a scam. You should, the individual have to know what they're going for and what they want. That is a clear picture. College is never a scam in any country, in any institution. It's never a scam. It's really good in society and it helps a lot of people. I've seen a lot of dropouts. Like I experienced, I saw people dropping out from school, from college. I saw that, witnessed it. But at the same time, some people dropped out because of financial issues. A lot of people, to be precise, dropped out because of financial issues. And some dropped out because of um, they are not feeling the school again. But a lot of people are dropping out because of financial issue, um, issues. But at the same time, college is never a scam. I don't support that, that phrase. No, I don't believe in that. College has massive impact in every single one of us lives. Comment down below, think about this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video as many as can, subscribe to China. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I, I just want a bag Like an old lady I'm back wood smoking I don't own papers Pass that 808 That don't don't shake her Oh bitch you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby mama bugging I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitch in my bed I got scales all